All right, it is snowing. Snowing and I got no shovel. Let's go, Rex. Let's show them what we're gonna do. This is our 1987 Toyota 4Runner. It's awesome, it has a new engine. And in this video, we are gonna put a UTV plow on the front of it. And we're gonna start by putting this winch plate on. Well, we're gonna take that bumper off. It's long overdue. We're gonna put this winch plate on that I got from a friend. And then we're gonna put this little $100 winch on it to lift the blade. And then the next time I'm out here, I'm gonna have a plow, KFI UTV plow, and we are gonna mount it down there on the lower control arm cross member. At least that's the plan. All right, so we got this winch plate cut down to fit those two bolts and those two bolts and then we took off what we cut and are making a little gusset and boy is that stronger already and there she is all gusseted and welded up All right, just getting everybody caught up here. I got the wires routed through there, and then I snuck in through an AC drain line. And came up right through there. Probably throw a little conduit on it and a little hanger there. I got this switch. I had to change out two of these leads because it, the plow is for a ATV or the, the winch is for an ATV. So two of the wires, they're meant to go to a handlebar. They gave me a handlebar mount bracket. And so I had to buy a spool of six or eight gauge wire, kind of surprisingly small wire, but it's rated for it. And I got that tied on there. We are hooked up and working on the winch factor. All right, we got the plow. We got the bracket. And back there, we got the push tube kit. And now I got to figure out how this is going to get mounted onto here. Something like that. We'll see where we end up. All right, I got the mount cut down to clear these hold, these bolts that hold this cross member on. This cross member is kind of acting as a front dip mount and sort of a brace between the lower control arms. So I have to keep these bolts accessible in case I want to take the front dip out or whatever. So I nip the ends off. I can fit a 17 mil socket in there and the bolt can come through and I'm gonna weld this thing on. All right, we got the plow. Oh, well, my friend got the plow all assembled. <laughs> and I got the mount stuck on with some not so great welds. And soon enough, they'll be together. Got these trip springs installed yet to be adjusted these little uh, stoppers that stop it from coming back and then these brass bushings that it lets it flip forward upon. All right, this is our first lift. Ready? Yep. Oh, okay. Boy, she goes high enough. Give it a little more, let's just see what happens. A little bit more. Whoa. A little bit more. Okay. All right. 
Hell yeah. Oh, we're probably a good 12 inches off the ground. Here's us back in the truck out and uh, basically realizing pretty quickly that we had the skids set too low and we weren't getting very much snow on top of the blade. And we basically moved them higher and higher and uh, started getting better results. Oh, just a couple of plow trucks. Just a couple of plow trucks doing their thing, you know. Boy, you can barely see the truck behind that plow. Oh, yeah! This lot is plowed and she's going back in. Look at this. We even ran down the municipal sidewalk just to be, you know, team players. All right, that was a complete success. We plowed that lot really well. Everything fit really nice. We got good angles on everything. It makes some wings that make it a few inches wider per side. We are just beyond the tire, but for what I got to do with it, I don't think it needs any more help than it's got. It had awesome traction and four wheel drive. I let a little more air out of the tires. We have uh, another snowstorm supposed to be coming within a week or so, and I'll do uh, another couple action shots of it working on the snow, and then I'll stitch all these clips together, and you guys can take a look. Here's the last shot I got for now. Uh, we ended up taking the uh, side skids completely off and uh, it gets it all the way down. Works great. 